Hey, what is up fellow cynics? Today I'm gonna to be walking you guys through how to get custom songs on Beat Saber for the Oculus Quest 1 and 2. And for any of you that have not seen our tutorials in the past on our channel, we do like to be as thorough as possible so that this is as easy as possible for you guys to follow along with. Now, a couple things before you get started. You will need to have Beat Saber already downloaded onto your Oculus and you will have to have at least played it or at least booted it up one time. And you will also need a computer to get this done. It doesn't matter if it's a desktop or a laptop, whatever it may be, any computer will work. And then it is important that you have your Oculus Quest turned on during this entire process or it will not work. Once you have checked all of those off the list, you are now ready to mod Beat Saber, so let's jump over to the tutorial. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go to bsaber.com, which I will link in the description down below. And then we're just gonna hover over plugins up top here, hover over mods and click Quest Mods. And then once you are on this page, you are gonna just click right on this underlined link here that says Download Side Quest. So SideQuest is going to be the program that we're going to use in order to get these modded custom songs onto Beat Saber. And then to download SideQuest, all you have to do here is pick which one applies to you. So Linux, Mac, or Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click this one right here. That will queue your download for SideQuest. So the next step though, before we open up SideQuest, is going to just be to click the here button to sign up for an account. So once you click on that, that's just going to take you to this page here where you're going to sign up for an actual account for SideQuest. Don't worry, you do not have to pay money or anything for it, and it is 100% safe to use. But once you sign up, you're good to go. You can just close out of that tab, and we're going to open up SideQuest. And you're just going to go through the typical installation, just like any other program. So I already have SideQuest on my computer, so I'm going to skip to the next step here. But you'll just hit next here and save it where you want to save it. It's up to you. So once you have SideQuest opened up, you're just going to sign in. So once you're all signed in, it's just going to take you to the main SideQuest page here. Now we can move on to the next step. We're not going to need SideQuest quite yet, so you can just minimize it. Do not close it out though. All right, so after minimizing SideQuest, you're going to pop back over to your web browser and you are now going to go to developer.oculus.com, which I will pop up on the screen here and I will link it in the description down below along with any future links that we will need for this tutorial. Once you go to that website, it is going to cue you to sign into your Oculus accounts. And once you do that, it will take you to the Oculus for developers page here, which you will now have to actually sign up for. So you do have to be a developer in order to get these mods to work and to get SideQuest to work on your Oculus. So right here, you're just going to name your organization, whatever you want. Uh, it really doesn't matter. I just named mine Digital Cynic and you hit understand and submit. And once you sign up to become a developer, it will just take you to this page here. And basically this just allows you to enter developer mode on your Oculus. So now that we are officially signed up to be an Oculus developer, we're gonna leave this page open, but we're gonna open up a new tab and you're gonna go to this link, which I will post on the screen once again, and I will post in the description down below if you just wanna copy and paste it. But now we have to download the Oculus developer drivers. So once you go to the link that I posted, it's gonna take you to this page here, and all you're gonna do is agree to the terms and hit download, which will cue the download on the bottom left here. Once you do that, open it up, and you're gonna to want to actually extract all up here in order to actually install what you need to install. That's gonna open up the extracted files here, and then double click on this Oculus Go tab, double click on USB driver, and then this Android Win USB is the one that we want to install. So just ignore the other ones. This one right here, what we're going to do is right click it. And that's going to allow you right here to install it. And then hit open. Hit yes. And it will say the operation was completed successfully. And once that is done, you can now close out of these tabs here. So up next, we're actually gonna have to hop over to our phone or our tablets, whatever you have the Oculus app downloaded on. So go over to that and then hit settings on the bottom right. And on the very top, you should see your Oculus Quest 1 or 2. And just click on that and it will connect it. Once it says connected, it's gonna give you a few extra options here. So go to more settings. Then you're gonna go to developer mode and make sure to flip that on. So mine is already turned on because I've already done this. But basically all of the previous steps that we did was so that we could enter developer mode on the Oculus itself. Now, before we officially move on to the next step, go ahead and restart your Oculus. It is basically just to assure that the developer options actually show up when we need them to. 
And once it is fully powered cycled, you are gonna want to now plug it into the computer. So I'm using my Oculus Quest cable, which is just a type A to a type C cord. You can also use the type C to type C charger that the actual Oculus came with, or really just any phone charger will work in fact as well. And once you have that officially all hooked up, you're gonna want to put on the Oculus. And right when you put it on, you should have a message pop up saying allow USB debugging. And you're gonna wanna select always allow if you don't want that message to pop up every single time it's connected and then just hit okay. And once you do allow that USB debugging, you can pop open SideQuest again, and now in the top left, you're gonna see that it is now green instead of red like it was before, and it is going to be reading what kind of Oculus you have and that it is connected. So once you can confirm that this is green and indeed connected, you can go back to your web browser, and now we are gonna have to go download a program called BMBF. So you're gonna go to bmbf.dev, forward slash stable. Once again, I'll pop, up, pop it up on the screen. It will be in the description with all the other links. And once you go there, you're just gonna download the top one here. Click right on that. And this is just a file, so you're not gonna be able to open it really. So your next step is now to go back to SideQuest, open up your downloads, and then you're gonna take that thing that we just downloaded, the BMBF, and you're going to drag it over to the green dot up here. So it's gonna pop up saying drop files here. Once you do that, down at the bottom, it will say starting app install, and it's gonna say all tasks completed. So everything with the computer is officially done, so feel free to disconnect and put it on. And then how you actually load this up is you're gonna go to apps here, go up to the all tab and scroll all the way down. You're gonna see unknown sources. That's where you're gonna see that BMBF that we added and you're gonna click on that. Now I was unable to actually record the rest of this because the Oculus does not allow you to but basically you're gonna follow the on-screen prompts once you open the BMBF program. And what it's gonna have you do is it's going to have you uninstall the, or the current version of Beat Saber that you have, and then it asks if you want to install the modified version. And this is the version that's gonna actually allow you to play the custom songs. Now, it is important to remember uh, with the new multiplayer mode that they've added somewhat recently, with this, this modified version, you're most likely not going to be able to use the multiplayer. So this is primarily gonna be used for campaign and solo play. But right after you download the modified version of Beat Saber, it is going to pop up a message saying, do you wanna open it or close? Just hit close right there. It's gonna take you right to the BMBF website where it's actually going to show all of the custom songs that you can download. And it is as easy as finding the song that you want, hitting download on it. And then in the top right, it's gonna say sync songs to Beat Saber. And once that is complete, it's gonna ask if you wanna open Beat Saber in the top right as well. Once you open that up, you are officially in the modified version of Beat Saber and it will have all the songs that you chose and downloaded and you can play them as you please. So that is basically it everyone. I apologize that I couldn't get that video for the last portion there. But as long as you just follow along with what it's telling you to do, you should have no issues whatsoever. And then from there on out, if you wanna get more songs, you're gonna go back to that BMBF. Otherwise you can just load Beat Saber from your main screen where it shows all your apps. It will still take you to the modified version and you'll still have the current songs that you had already downloaded on there. But overall, I hope this wasn't too confusing for you. Once you get it down, it's pretty easy. Other than that, if you watch the video and you still have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will get back to you and try to help you out as best as I can. Give the video a thumbs up if this was able to help you out. And don't forget if you wanna see future content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.